Welcome to our tutorial on using web components in React.js. Imagine web components like building blocks for your website or web application. Just like how you use blocks to build a house, you can use web components to build your website or web application. One of the main benefits of using web components in React.js is that they are reusable. Another benefit is that web components are independent from any framework. They are just a native feature of the web. This means that you can use a web component in any web page or any framework. This makes your code more portable and can be used in different projects. Web components also promote good architecture and separation of concerns. They allow you to break down a complex interface into smaller, more manageable chunks, which can make your code easier to understand and maintain. Now that you know the benefits of using web components in React.js, we'll move on on showing you how to create and use them in your application. Code with Sloba. First, we'll create a new file in our React.js project and call it hellocomponent.js. In this file, we'll define our web component using the class syntax and the customElements.define method. The customElements.define method takes two parameters. The Go first is with the name Sloba. of the custom element, which must contain a dash, and the second is the class that represents the custom element. In our case, the name of the custom element is hello-component and the class is hello-component. Then we will give it a constructor method and a connected callback method. The constructor method is where we can set up the initial state of the component and the connected callback method is where we define what should happen when the component is added to the DOM. In this case, we'll set the inner HTML of the component to h1 tag that says hello everyone. Next, we'll import this component into our main react.js file and use it in our application. We can use it just like any other HTML element by including it in our JSX code. And that's it. We've now created and used a web component in our React.js application. As you can see, this component is independent from React. It does not use any React API and can be used in any web page. Just remember that web components doesn't use React API, so you cannot use class name. And instead, you would use a regular class. Well, that's all for this React video. And thanks for stopping by. And don't forget to subscribe. Code with Sloba. Thank you for watching the entire video. To see more React tutorials, click here.